Hello everyone, you have come to David Knox channel. Specializes in product reviews, giving you the most objective view of the product. Please watch this video until the end to know the advantages and disadvantages before you decide to buy the product. Today, I and you will discover a new product. Let go. And there's a inflatable piece that goes in the center that you will blow up. And then this part will go over the hot tub and I'll show you later. This is a really hard thing that we had to figure out. This piece came in a package of plastic and you have to screw it in here and then uncover the inflatable like hole for the tube to attach to. So here you go. He is attaching this um, nozzle to inflate the actual hot tub and all of this comes with in order to blow this up it takes about five minutes ours took a little bit less but um, you just want to make sure that it's nice and full it will shut off after five minutes so it won't blow up or anything like that the compressor is all built into this station here and you don't have to buy anything special to blow it up or anything like that and then after it's all blown up, you just put the cap back on and then you will need to connect all these nozzles here, which I will show you. Um, this is like the main station here to help. This is where you can turn your temperature up or turn your, the blowing device up. And then this is the filter holder. So this will just screw on on the inside here and you change this filter out as often as you need to. Um, we haven't had it that long to know how long it will take to use up the filter so we'll see and then the other piece there is what you use to hold your one inch chlorine tablets and it just easily screws on he was just you know hadn't done it for the first time but you don't need any tools for this you just screw it right on there and then these pieces on the um, back will screw on for your intake and outtake and all that different stuff and this is all just hand tightened you don't want to use any kind of tools you could break the plastic or whatever and we didn't have any issues with leaking or anything so just trust the process and get everything hand tightened as best you can and then soon you will be filling up your hot tub and um, that process of filling the tub is the next thing that we did and that took about two hours to get it filled up this is the process of filling the tub we just used a regular hose and it's takes about 242 gallons of water and there is a min fill and a max fill line it's about 80 percent capacity otherwise when you turn your jets on you put everybody in you could have some splashing and overflowing which isn't the end of the world but it's just a guideline to go by and then we um, put our cover on and started heating up the tub as you can see it's about 82 degrees right now this is all done in the evening and then we went it we were excited and we wanted to try it out so here my husband is uncovering and these latches here which i like you have to actually push in the top and push the sides at the same time so thank you for watching the video if you are interested in the product and many other products on the Amazon Marketplace, please click on the link below the comments section to purchase to support David Nock. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next videos. Thank you.